A lot of you have been asking about my Easy Tuner and how it actually attaches to the barrel. We have two versions of the Easy Tuner. We have one for inch 250 barrels and then we have one for uh, smaller barrels. So the Easy Tuner can actually be attached behind your muscle device and uh, so it doesn't matter what muscle device you have. It's it's going to act like it's, as if you didn't have a tuner, okay? So the fact that you have a tuner will not interfere with your muscle device whatsoever, okay? So anyway, let me show you how that works. All right, so your current setup looks something similar to this right now. The EC tuner actually attaches behind the muscle brake. Let me show you how. All right, so this is one of my old barrels, but this is what it's going to look like after it has been machined for an EC tuner. So the EC tuner threads onto the barrel here so as you can see, the Easy Tuner has three screws around the perimeter, and the screws look like this. Okay, they have a nylon tip in the front. So the way you wanna set those screws up, you wanna tighten them enough that it provides you enough tension so that the tuner will not turn on its own. However, it still allows you to turn it if you need to, out in the field, okay? So this is a toolless design. Once you do your tuning, and you're satisfied with the uh, with the setting, you can actually tighten these quite a bit more to almost lock the tuner in place. Uh, I suggest that you get it pretty snug, but then to where you can still grab it and turn it by hand because in case you ever need to turn it and you don't have any tools, then you still have the option to move it. So this one's pretty snug right now. So as you can see, the threads for your muscle device are still exposed, okay? So the ID of the Easy Tuner, it's 800 thousandths. And of course, this is 625, which is 5 eighths. So as you can see, you still have a shoulder for your muscle device to shoulder up against. Once the, your muscle device is installed, you will have a gap, about 50 thousandths, between the tuner and your muscle device. And that's going to allow you slightly more than one full rotation on its tuner of adjustment. You should be able to find something that shoots good in your rifle in less than one full rotation. I suggest that whoever installs your tuner puts a uh, mark on your barrel where zero is. I mean, typically would be best if it was at top dead center, but it really doesn't matter where it's at. It's just a way for you to keep track of your numbers, all right? So then you can, uh, when tuning your barrel, you can start at zero or whatever setting your line lines up with and then you just go in increments of two. So let's just say you start at zero, you shoot a three shot group, then you go to two, you shoot another group, then you go to four, shoot another group, and so on and so forth until you find something that shoots. Once you find a group that shoots well, keep shooting, go past it. Go another two marks, shoot again, and another two, and shoot again. You want, it's, it's going to be a bell curve. Even if you start with a group small, keep going. The groups are gonna get small, and then they're gonna get big, they're gonna get small again. You wanna find where the groups are getting smaller, you wanna find uh, what, the full node. Let's just say setting 12 and 14 shot really good. Well, I suggest that you put your tuner on 13, and that's going to give you the most consistency throughout the life of the barrel. You shouldn't ever have to tune this barrel again with this tuner. If you are ever at a match and you're doing your sighting and for some reason it's not shooting well, well then you can reach up here and turn your tuner and do a quick tuning before the match starts. Another question that I have had is, should I adjust the tuner as the day goes on to compensate for density altitude? I suggest that you do not mess with this tuner during a match. So the tuner tunes your barrel harmonics, okay? That's why your groups get smaller or bigger. Well, the other thing it does, it changes point of impact. So, if, if you're gonna mess with it during the day, yeah, you will improve your groups, but you will also change your point of impact, which will likely cost you more misses than if uh, you had not messed with the tuner at all. So, uh, again, I suggest that once you find it, don't mess with it unless you need to. And of course, that's gonna be during your sighting period at 100 yards. and. Uh, that's going to allow you to tune the rifle and sight it in again if there is a point of impact change. All right, so as you guys can tell, the taper on the tuner fits very well with this barrel contour. This is an MTU, and the reason for the taper is so that you don't hang this tuner up when you're trying to pull your barrel back out of a barricade or, or, or anything else that could possibly catch this, uh, this tuner as you're pulling it back through. Obviously, this one is threaded on, so it's the most secure way that you can have it on here. So. I have no worries 
on this tuner being on this barrel whatsoever okay you're not gonna you're not gonna cause a point of impact change by banging this uh this tuner anywhere because of how much thread engagement it has uh, the other thing is this is just a, a muscle brake that i have laying around but i run self-timing muscle brakes on my on my rifles which obviously are much bigger so uh, the tuner itself matches the muscle brake a lot closer than than the one i'm showing you here but even if you had this one it, it ain't gonna matter much but like i said when you're pulling it back through you want this taper so that it it rides whatever you're pulling it through it'll ride right over it and it won't bang your uh, tuner around okay so this is a tapered version let me show you the uh, straight version so this is what the straight easy tuner looks like and they, see this one has a shoulder in the back which like i said before i wouldn't recommend this for prs because when you're pulling your barrel back through it'll catch that's why i made the tapered version if you have a straight barrel like an inch 250 then this one works extremely well for that let me show you what that looks like so this is what the straight tuner looks like on an inch 250 barrel so if you are running an inch 250 barrel let me know and then I can get you one of these tuners. You do not want to use the tapered version on an inch 250 barrel. These are the barrels that we run in F-Glass, so uh, these tuners work very well for that. The way you machine for this tuner is the exact same way you machine the other one. You will leave you know, your threads for your muscle device sticking out the front, just, just like if, if it was the other one. These tuners are actually interchangeable, so you machine them the exact same way. All right, so I hope this answers some questions for some of you that have wondered how this tuner attached to the barrel. I know a lot of you had concerns about if it would move or shift or anything. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of thread engagement, so you don't have any worries about this tuner shifting, even if you bang it around, uh, you know, while you're running your stage. I hope that answered a lot of your questions. If you want to order an easy tuner, send me an email at easytuner at yahoo.com. There are also companies like Alamo Precision that you can actually get your uh, tuner from. You can send them the barrel. They'll thread it on and put the tuner on for you. They're one of our dealers. Also Masterpiece Arms, you can order a barrel already with a tuner on there. Or if you're getting a pre-fit, they can actually thread it for you. So that way, if you already have the tuner, when you get your barrel, you can simply put it on and you're back in the game. I will make some videos later on how to tune your barrel, but it's extremely simple. Paul Reed made a video and it's right here. Click the link on how he tuned his barrels. And I mean, you can use them for uh, tune different loads. Actually, factory ammo is probably the most popular way that people are using my easy tuner. You can actually take factory ammo and make your barrel shoot it as good as possible. It may not be the smallest group ever, but it will make it as good as it can be. So uh, it's a very good option for, uh, especially if you're shooting factory ammo. If you're shooting reloads and you have multiple rifles, well, you can have your main load and then you can actually have your backup rifle shoot the same load as good as it can, okay? That way you don't have to load uh, different loads for different rifles. Another reason for having an easy tuner is you can actually have two different loads for the same rifle. So like Paul Reed, he has a slow node for uh, practicing and a fast node for competition use. So he's able to simply load both loads for his rifle, tune the tuner to make both loads shoot well, uh, make a note of which setting each load likes, and then simply turn your uh, tuner and your ready to go. Any questions, put them in the comments. And again, um, you can get a tuner directly from me, easytuner at yahoo.com or from Alamo Precision. They can install it for you and so can Masterpiece Arms. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.